This demonstration will take you through the steps on importing your configuration file, creating a system response calibration, and finally performing a measurement. Before entering any of the software modules, you'll want to go to File and Import Settings. Settings can be found on the internal 770 drive. In this case, we're going to use our default CFG. Next step, we'll want to open the Spectral Radiance software module. To create a system response calibration, click on Modify Settings, Calibrations, and Create Cal File. You'll want to be sure to browse to your correct standard file. Now it will default to the ST7 extension, you'll have to change it to STD. Once we have the file selected, we'll want to click a minimum of average scans of maybe 20 and take a reading. Once we get our, our curve, we'll click on Save. We'll enter a designation for the file. And this is basically a notepad that allows you to make any, any sort of notes you would like on the file. In this case, we won't have anything in there. Finally, give your file a name. Once this file is saved, click Close. We'll then browse to the file we just created, making sure to enable the Use Cal File button. Once our calibration file is loaded, we click OK, and we're ready to take a measurement. Invis chromaticity, pass fail can be found here and the NVIS radiance here, as well as your NVIS goggle A and goggle B response. Your raw spectral curve is, is here.